everyone! Today we are going to learn about the science of non-Newtonian fluids. Now what is a non-Newtonian fluid? Well, a Newtonian fluid is a fluid that abides by all the rules laid out by Isaac Newton in the 17th century for fluids. These are things like water and oil and gasoline and alcohol. These don't change their properties based on how much force or stress is applied to them. Now Newtonian fluids, non-Newtonian fluids on the other hand, do. Sometimes they act like a liquid, sometimes they act like a solid. These are like the rebels of the fluid world. And some common examples of non-Newtonian fluids are ketchup. So if you've ever seen ketchup in a glass bottle and you tip it upside down and it has a hard time coming out, right? It's really annoying. Well, that's because when there's no force applied to ketchup, it acts more like a solid and it wants to stay inside that glass bottle. But there's all these tricks to try to help ketchup come out of the bottle. You can hit it in a certain place. You can shake it a certain way. And that is actually changing the property of ketchup to become a bit more liquid, a bit less viscous and come out of the bottle. So when stress and force is applied to it, it becomes more like a liquid. Another example is quicksand. You know, if you ever find yourself in quicksand, the more you struggle, the more you sink. That's because when force and stress is applied to quicksand, it becomes more like a liquid and less like a solid. So if you ever find yourself in quicksand, remember that it's a non-Newtonian fluid and that you should just try to stay still until somebody can save you. Another type of non-Newtonian fluid is oobleck, and that's what we're going to make today. So for this experiment, you're going to need cornstarch and a little bit of water and food coloring if you want to make it colorful. Now, Oobleck is a little bit different than ketchup and quicksand, whereas ketchup and quicksand, they become more liquid when you add force to them. This non-Newtonian fluid actually becomes more solid when you add more force and stress to it. So let's go ahead and make this. The recipe for oobleck is two parts cornstarch to one part water. So you can really make this um, with as much or as little as you want. So I have one cup of cornstarch here. I'm just gonna add that and I'm going to add a half cup of water. But before I add my water, I'm gonna go ahead and add my food coloring. We're going to make green oobleck today. Woo, it's gonna be very green. And uh, just word to the wise, your hands are going to get stained. So if you wanna wear gloves, I mean, I don't know if there's really any way around it. You're, you're just gonna get messy. So we can go ahead and add that in here. And let's talk about where oobleck got its name, right? Well, it's actually named, oh boy, you can feel it so weird. Uh, so Oobleck got its name from a Dr. Seuss book that was written in 1949 called Bartholomew and the Oobleck. And this is about a page boy and a king. And the king of this kingdom was so bored with everything that was flying down from his sky, the rain, the snow, the, the, fog, everything annoyed him. He, so he went to his magicians and he said, I want something new to fall from my sky, something that nobody has ever seen before. And the magicians were like, uh, we'll make oobleck. And the king was like, what's oobleck? And I'm just gonna add a little bit more cornstarch to this because it feels a bit more liquid that we want. So we want a little bit more cornstarch. And the magicians were like, well, it won't look like rain, it won't look like snow, it won't look like fog, that's all we know. We just can't tell you anymore. We've never made oobleck before. So, oh, this is looking really good. So they made oobleck fall from the sky. It was this gooey, gacky muck that stuck on everything, ruined everybody's homes. Everybody was really upset about it. It was kind of ruining his kingdom. And so, he had to apologize for it to go away. He said the magic words, I'm sorry, and it all went away. And so here we can see our oobleck is coming together very nicely. Now you can see as I put this in a ball, it becomes really hard when I'm adding like a little bit of pressure and force, but as soon as I stop doing that, it turns right back into a liquid. How cool is that? That is a non-Newtonian fluid. The important thing to remember here is not to throw this down your drain. This will clog your drain. So when you're done playing with your oobleck, make sure you toss it in a plastic bag and just throw it in the trash. If you have a hammer handy, get your oobleck and just hit it with a hammer because you can see 
that it acts like a solid. And that is the science of non-Newtonian fluids. <laughs>